nothing more you need. And God has sent us here today to fill that gap. God bless you. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. The Bible says Give the Lord a it is appointed unto men to die once, but after death is a judgment of God. Oh, people of Stratford, we have come here today to declare to you the word of the living God. To declare to you that there is a God in heaven. A God that created all things. A God that created the stars, the planets, the moon and all you see. Oh, everything is created by the living God. And this God has a son called Jesus Christ. Oh, God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. That whoever may believe in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Oh, but Jesus Christ, he came, and he died a cruel death on a cross. Oh, Jesus came from heaven. He came to earth, and he took on the form of a man. Oh, when Jesus Christ, he came, and he was despised. He was rejected of men. He came to the world that he created, and his own did not receive him. Oh, but everybody that believes on him, he can give you the power to become sons of God. Oh, Jesus Christ came to seek and to save the lost. Everybody, without Jesus Christ, you are dead in your sins. Oh, I was dead in my sins, but Christ has made me alive. I was a drug addict. I was a blasphemer. I was an adulterer. Oh, I was a fornicator. Oh, I was a liar. I was a thief. I lied to my family. I lied to my parents. I stole the drugs. But Jesus Christ, he came and he delivered. He set me free. Hallelujah. Oh, Jesus, break my chains of addictions. Jesus, break. Oh, he broke the chains of alcohol. He broke the drugs. He broke the fornication. And I'm here today to tell you that Jesus Christ can set you free from your bondage. Though you are a slave to sin, though you are a slave to smoking, though you are a slave to fornication, though you are a slave to sin, Jesus Christ came to seek and to save the lost. Oh, Jesus is the Lamb of God that takes away the sins of the world. We have come here today to Stratford to tell you to repent. Oh, God commands everyone everywhere to repent because there is coming a day of judgment when God shall judge the world in righteousness you cannot escape the judgment of God you cannot escape death oh your bodies they are temporary oh your souls they are eternal oh once you go into the grave you are going to spend eternity whether it's in heaven or whether it's in hell fire oh you have to choose you have to repent you have to come to oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, because Jesus, he is coming to judge the world. Jesus came to take away the sins of the world. Oh, but he is coming again to judge the living and the dead. Oh, Jesus says you have to give an account of every idle word that you have spoken. And by your words you shall be justified. By your words you shall be condemned. We all have foul mouths. We all speak the the name of the Lord in vain. We say OMG. We use the name of Jesus as a curse word. Oh, we have lied. We have committed fornication. And we are in danger of hellfire today. If you are to die in your sins, you are going to perish for all eternity. Oh, in hell there is no escape. In hell there is eternal torment, eternal fire, eternal blackness, eternal darkness. Oh, Jesus Christ, he is coming. Oh, Jesus. Jesus Christ is coming, you need to repent today. Oh, repent for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Jesus Christ said, you must be born again, otherwise you cannot see the kingdom of God. To be born again, you must turn to Jesus Christ. You must lay down your sins. You must lay down your weapons of rebellion. And you must trust in Jesus Christ alone. For by grace we are saved through faith. And not that of ourselves, it's a gift of God, not of works, lest any man should boast. 
Salvation is a gift from God. Heaven is a gift from God. But you must receive this gift by placing your faith in Jesus Christ. You must trust in Jesus alone. Oh, your good works cannot save you. Your good deeds cannot get you to heaven. Though you may be good people without outside goodness. Oh, you cannot go to heaven without Jesus Christ. Oh, being Muslim, it cannot save you. Oh, Hare Krishna, it cannot save you. Oh, Buddha, he cannot save you. Oh, the Catholic Church, it cannot save you. Only Jesus Christ. Oh, without the shedding of blood, there is no remission of sins. Oh, Jesus shed his blood on upon that cross. Oh, Jesus came and he died upon the cross of Calvary over 2,000 years ago. Jesus Christ came as an ultimate sacrifice. Jesus laid down his life upon the cross. Oh, Jesus hung on that cross. Jesus was whipped with a whip that had razors and bones in the whip and his flesh was ripped off because of our sins, because of our lying, our fornication, our lust, our adultery, oh, our blasphemy, oh, our unbelief. Jesus Christ, he died for it. Oh, Jesus, he was risen from the dead on the third day. Oh, the wrath of God, the judgment of God was poured out upon Jesus Christ. Oh, Jesus took the sins of mankind upon himself. Jesus took your sins, Stratford, oh, upon himself, that you do not have to face the wrath of God. Oh, but if you reject Jesus Christ, if you reject the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ, Jesus shall be revealed from heaven against all ungodliness and unrighteousness of men who hold the truth and unrighteousness. All you are doing in your sins, you may be living a good life in your sins, you may not see the judgment of God. Oh, but there is a day of judgment coming. Oh, people of Stratford, you must repent. You must turn away from your sins. You must call upon Jesus Christ today. Oh, for Jesus Christ, he is coming again for a church that obeys him, that trusts him, for lo that loves him, that have been sanctified uh, by his Holy Spirit. Uh, oh, when you trust in Jesus, uh, he will give you his Holy Spirit, uh, and his Holy Spirit uh, will break the chains of addiction. His Holy Spirit will give you a brand new heart, uh, a brand new mind, a brand new life, uh, and the things that you used to do, you will not desire to do them anymore. Oh, you cannot earn your way to be right with God. Uh, the Bible says, uh, oh, your good deeds are like that filthy rags in the sight of the living God. Uh, oh, but God can take away your filthy rags. Uh, oh, God can clothe you in his righteousness today. If you just trust in Jesus Christ, uh, oh, let the wicked forsake his way. Let the unrighteous man forsake his faults. Uh, oh, and let him return to the Lord and the Lord will have mercy upon him. Oh, Jesus Christ uh, was wounded for our transgressions. Uh, Jesus Christ uh, was bruised for our iniquities. Uh, the chastisement of our peace, it was upon him. And with his stripes, oh, Stratford, we are healed. Uh, oh, like sheep, we have gone astray. We have turned away from the living God. Uh, we have turned to serve idols uh, made by men's hands. Uh, oh, that they have ears they cannot hear. The idols that you serve, they have eyes, but they cannot see. Oh, they have mouths, uh, but they cannot speak. Uh, and so is everybody that trusts in them. Oh, come to the living God today. We have come here to tell you that there is a God in heaven. The living God, the only true God, who has a son called Jesus Christ. Uh, and God gave his son that you may be delivered from your sins. Uh, oh, but if you do not come to Jesus, if you do not leave your sins behind, uh, you are going to have to face the judgment of God, the wrath of God is going to be poured out uh, upon the world very soon. Jesus is coming for his church. Uh, very, very soon you're going to see thousands and thousands of thousands of people disappear from the face of the earth. Uh, oh, but do not believe the media. Do not believe the government. Uh, they are going to lie. They are going to say it's an alien invasion. Oh, but there are no aliens. There are demons. Uh, oh, do not believe the lies. Uh, Jesus is coming and you are going to 
to see people disappear. Oh, do not be left behind for the wrath of God is going to be poured out. No man can endure the wrath of God. Oh, people will be saying to the mountains, oh, mountains, fool on us uh, and save us from the wrath of the Lamb. Oh, people come to Jesus. Call upon Jesus Christ today. Oh, because he is the Savior to save us from our sins. Uh, but Jesus said, you will not come to him because you love your sin. You love your darkness uh, rather than light. Uh, oh, come to Jesus. Uh, your fornication, your lying, your stealing, your drug using, your drunkenness. Uh, oh, it may be pleasurable for a while. Oh, but there is death uh, and destruction. If you serve sin, you will have to pay the penalty of sin, which is death and destruction. The wages of sin is death, uh, but the gift of God, it is eternal life uh, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Oh Jesus, uh, he is a saviour to save us from our sins. Uh, he is not a saviour to save us in our sin. Uh, he takes our sins away. Oh, the Holy Ghost comes uh, and he sanctifies us. Uh, he makes us brand new. Oh, but if you do not give up your sins, uh, if you do not come to Jesus, uh, you are going to spend eternity in the fires of hell. Oh, Jesus said it's better to cut out your hand or to pluck out your eye if it causes you to sin. Oh, then go to heaven or oh, half maimed and it is to go to hell with both your hands and your feet and your eyes oh give up your sins today people of Stratford repent today for the kingdom of heaven it is at hand we have come here today in the name of Jesus to lift up his name oh Jesus is coming and he's calling you here to him today oh God is commanding you to repent today and believe the gospel repent and be baptized every one of you in the name of Jesus and for the remission of your sins and you shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost oh the Holy Ghost you will come and it will live in you and change you you must be born again it's not enough to say that you believe in God because the devil believes in God and he trembles it's not enough to say that you go to church because the devil he goes to church as well oh you must be born again you must be sanctified oh the Bible says do you not know that the unrighteous will not inherit the kingdom of God? Do not be deceived. Neither fornicators, nor idolaters, nor adulterers, nor homosexuals, nor sodomites, nor thieves, nor covetous, oh, nor drunkards, nor revilers, nor extortioners will inherit the kingdom of God. And Jesus Christ said, anybody that lies will have their part in the lake of fire. Oh, unbelievers, the fearful, the abominable, or the sorcerers, the unbelievers, they will have their part in the lake of fire. Oh, you need to come to Jesus. Tomorrow is not promised to anybody. You could not see another day upon this earth, oh Stratford. Oh, you could go to bed tonight and you could not wake up in the morning. You could walk along and have an accident. Oh, but if you slip off to eternity without Jesus Christ in your sins, oh, you're going to perish oh in hell forever and never in hell there is a eternity there's no escape though a hundred million years go by you cannot escape oh the wiles and the torments in hell oh there is gnashing and weeping gnashing of teeth oh you do not want to go to hell your sins are not worth going to hell for Stratford. Jesus came, oh, that you may be saved from your sins. Jesus came, that you may be delivered from the power of sin. Oh, he will give you the power to overcome your temptations. Jesus, he will give you the power to overcome your lying, to overcome your stealing, to overcome your drug addictions, to overcome your homosexuality. Oh, Jesus, he can set you free today call on his name oh Jesus he is so glorious the love of God it was demonstrated upon the cross that while we were still sinners Christ died for us oh while we were sinning against the living God God so loved us that he gave his son Jesus died on that death or oh, on that cross he came for one purpose Jesus came for one purpose only to die for the sins of mankind 
friend to escape the fires of hell oh Jesus saves us from the wrath to come Jesus bore the judgment of God the wrath of God it was poured out upon Jesus Christ that we do not have to endure the wrath of God and the judgment of God but if we reject Jesus if we reject the gospel of Jesus Christ we have to go through the judgment we have to endure the wrath of God oh for eternity you shall cry and weep oh in eternity the people are in hell right now they wish they had one more chance to listen to the gospel they had they are crying saying oh God I wish I had one more chance give me one more chance Jesus I don't want to be in his flames I don't want to be in his hell fire Jesus deliver me oh but Jesus I will say I gave you chances upon chances oh the Bible says no homosexual shall enter the kingdom of heaven but Jesus he can deliver you oh Jesus he can break your chains oh come to Jesus today repent today Stratford oh the judgment of God is coming the Bible says uh, in Romans chapter 2, oh, all you are doing in your sin, you are storing up wrath uh, for the day of wrath, uh, for the righteous uh, judgment of God. Oh, you are hardening your hearts to the word of God. Oh, but if you continue in your impenitence uh, and your hardness of hearts, uh, you are just storing up wrath uh, and wrath uh, and wrath uh, and wrath for the day of judgment. And on the day of judgment, the wrath of God, it is going to be released. Uh, oh, when you could not endure it. Oh God has the power to send you in hell today because of your sins. But God is patient. God is merciful. God is loving. Oh God doesn't want you to perish but he wants all to come to repentance. But if you do not come to repentance you will perish. Oh you will perish. There's no annihilation. There's no there's no there's no in between. There's no think what the Catholic Church believes. Oh, it purgatory. There's no purgatory. There's no annihilation. There is judgment and there is hell and there is heaven. You have to choose today where you're going to go. Is it life? You have to choose Jesus Christ. You have to come to Him in repentance and trust in Him every single day. You have to deny yourself. Take up your cross and follow Him. Oh Jesus, He calls us to obey. Obedience. He calls us uh, to holiness. Uh, oh, but you cannot be holy. Oh, without Jesus Christ. Uh, oh, the Holy Ghost will come and he will make you holy. If you just trust in Jesus, uh, call upon his name today. Oh, Jesus is coming. Stratford very very soon you are running out of time you cannot repent in the grave you must repent today for the kingdom of heaven is at hand repent or you shall all likewise perish this is coming from the lips of somebody that laid down his life repent or you shall all likewise perish Jesus is love he laid down his life when we are sinning against him he bled and died while we are sinning against him oh he is a loving God Oh, but he warns us, uh, and warnings comes before destruction. We have come here today to warn you, oh, people of Stratford, to warn you of your sins, uh, to warn you of the judgment to come. Oh, nothing can be hidden from God. In Hebrews 4, chapter 13, it says, uh, Oh, nothing can be hidden from the sight of him. Oh, neither is there any creature that is not manifest in his sight. Uh, but all things are naked and they are opened under the eyes of him with whom do we have to give an account. You may hide your sins from your families. You may hide your anger. You may hide your bitterness. You may hide your hatred from one another. Oh, but on judgment day, oh, your, your sins are going to be brought to light. Everything you do, everything you say are written in the book of God. You cannot escape it. Oh, but when Jesus Christ forgives you, Oh, your sins, uh, they can be blotted out uh, of the book of death. Uh, and your names can be written in the book of life. Uh, there is going to be a judgment day. Jesus is coming to church uh, on the great white throne. Uh, and the books are going to be opened. Uh, oh, and everybody is going to be judged from the books. Uh, and all unbelievers, uh, all liars, and everybody's name that's not written in the Lamb's book of life uh, is going to be cast 
into the lake of fire where the false beasts, the prophets, the false prophets, oh, and the devil is going to be cast. Oh, Jesus, he calls you to repentance. Jesus, he calls you to faith in him today. Oh, God is calling you today. Oh, to trust in his son, Jesus Christ. Oh, people, Buddha, he cannot save you. Hare Krishna cannot save you. Islam cannot save you. It's only Jesus, Jesus Christ, the Son of God. The blood that he shed upon the cross can wash away your sins. Though your sins are like crimson, the blood of Jesus can wash them white as snow. Oh, call on his name today. Experience the love of God today. Experience the your forgiveness of sins today by calling on Jesus. Oh, you have to confess your sins to God. You have to confess your lying. You have to confess your fornication. You have to forget for confess your idolatry, your adultery, your homosexuality, and forsake it. And Jesus, He will grant you eternal life. Oh, God will give you a place in heaven if you trust in Jesus Christ. If you lay down your sins. Oh, you cannot stop sinning on your own. You cannot stop lying on your own. You cannot stop doing drugs on your own. Here you need Jesus Christ. You need the power of the Holy Ghost. The Holy Ghost will come when you trust in Jesus and he will set you free. Whoever the sons set free is free indeed. Oh, be free today from your sins. Be free today from your fornication. Oh, by trusting in Jesus. No fornicator, no adulterer, no idolater, no drunkard will go to heaven, no unbeliever. Oh, unbelief is the worst sin of all. You may scoff, you may mock, oh, but your laughter and your mocking and your scoffing in hell shall be turned to sh weeping and gnashing of teeth. Oh, but you can have joy today, you can have peace today through Jesus Christ. Oh, cigarettes, they cannot give you peace. Oh, alcohol, they cannot give you peace. Oh, drugs, they cannot give you peace. It's only Jesus Christ. Oh, you may be smoking and have a peace for a few minutes, but you need another cigarette. You may drink alcohol to try and cover your pain. Oh, but you need more alcohol and you are a slave to it. But Jesus Christ can set you free and he can give you true peace. I was a drug addict. I seeked after drugs. I seek smoking and I seek these things because I needed peace. Oh, but when Jesus came, he gave me true peace. Oh, no one can take this peace away. Oh, no, there's a war. There's people surrounding me. I have peace. The peace that Jesus gives. Oh, no man can give it. Oh, cigarettes cannot give it. Oh, drugs cannot give it. Oh, Jesus is the Prince of Peace. Jesus is the Savior. Jesus is the Redeemer. Jesus Christ, the Son of God, is the only Savior for mankind. Oh, one day you are going to be judged by Almighty God. Hey. No, Paul, oh Jesus, uh, he is coming very, very soon. Oh, do not be deceived, uh, people of Stratford. Uh, do not be deceived. Uh, if you die in your sins, uh, you are going to perish in your sins. Uh, if you die, oh, without Jesus, you are going to perish forever and eternity in the fires of hell. Oh, you do not want to go to hell, people of Stratford. Oh, there is no parties in hell. There is no Fellowship in hell, you can't smoke in hell, you can't drink in hell, oh, you can't do anything in hell except be tortured, except be tormented. Oh, but Jesus, he offers you eternal life, Jesus Christ offers you salvation. Oh, but you must repent and trust in Jesus Christ, you must repent from your sins and trust in Jesus Christ today, for today you can say of salvation. Oh, tomorrow, is to anybody. Oh, if you die today in your sins, you are going to spend eternity in the lake of fire. All oh, your sins are not worth going to hell for. Repent 
given us strengthened time to day to Jesus Christ. Oh, hear the word of the Lord today. Jesus Christ is here today and he has arms, his arms are open wide oh, for you to receive you today. Oh, there is no salvation in anybody else other than Jesus Christ. There is no name under heaven given by men whereby we must be saved but through Jesus Christ. Jesus is the way, the truth and the life and no one comes to the Father but by him. Jesus himself said, I am the way, I am the truth and I am the life and no one comes to the Father but by me. Oh, Hare Krishna is not the way. Oh, Buddha is not the way. Oh, Muhammad is not the way. Islam is not the way. Oh, the Catholic Church is not the way. It's only Jesus Christ, the Son of God. Oh, all oh, these other religions. Oh, there are many false religions in this world. But there is one way to heaven, and it's Jesus Christ. Oh, do not be deceived. There are many paths in this world. But Jesus Christ said, there are two paths in the spiritual. Oh, the broad path to destruction. And there are many people on that path today. Oh, on that path path of destruction on a broad path to destruction you can live how you want you can do what you want you can live uh, the lives that you want to live but the end of it is destruction but Jesus Christ said uh, there is a narrow path uh, that leads to life and there's only a few on this path uh, because people are not willing to give up their sins uh, people are not willing to come to Jesus Christ uh, people are not willing to lay down their idols uh, oh people are not willing oh to deny their flesh uh, and to come to Jesus Christ uh, oh that's why you are on a broad path to destruction because you are walking your own way there is a way that seems right to a man but the end of it it is death oh there may be a way that seems right to you today there may be a way that seems right in your religions that you are in there may be a way that seems right in your fornication you may f you may feel this pleasurable oh but then there is a eternal wrath and judgment your sins are not worth going to lose your soul Jesus Christ said what does it profit a man if he gains the whole world but loses his soul oh you do not want to lose your soul oh what mathematician can work out that sum oh what scientist can work out that sum oh if you gain the whole world oh you can lose your soul is, what is it prophet a man who gains the whole world but loses his soul oh nobody can work out that sum oh your souls they are so precious your souls they are eternal your what are your lives they are like a puff of smoke that appears for a while and then it vanishes away oh people in Stratford our lives are so temporary our lives are so short I am not promised tomorrow I am not promised to see tonight nor are you who has promised you another day upon this earth there's no promise for God to keep sinners outside of hell there's no promise from God to keep you in your if you are in your sins outside of Jesus to keep you outside of hell it's only the pure grace, the poor mercy and the pure mercy of God that keeping you outside of hell today. Oh, but if you do not come to Jesus, then one day you are going to spend eternity in hell with the devil and his angels. Oh, the devil, he does not want to go to hell. In the Bible, there was uh, there two demon-possessed men at the tombs, uh, and they come to Jesus, and Jesus, and they said to Jesus, uh, have you come here to torment us before the time? Oh, and Jesus, uh, and they said to Jesus, uh, if you are going to cast us out, cast us into the pigs, Oh, the demons, they would rather live in pigs than go to hell. Hell wasn't, hell is not a place where the devil rules and reigns. Hell was made for the devil and his angels, for a torment. And if anybody follows the devil in their sin, they are going to go to hell with the devil. Oh, if you desire to live your life without God upon this earth, then you are going to spend eternity without God upon this, in hell forever. Oh, people, you must come to God today. Jesus can reconcile you to God today. Oh, you can be sons of God today. You can have a relationship with God the Father today through Jesus Christ. Uh, he reconciles us uh, back to God the Father. Oh, your sins uh, have separated you from the living God. Uh, Oh, God came. God gave Adam and Eve a commandment uh, in the book uh, of Genesis. Uh, oh, when God created the world, uh, oh, there was 
and God said Adam and to Adam and Eve, you may eat from any tree of the garden, but not from the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. Oh, but the devil, he came to Eve and he deceived Eve. And he said to Eve, oh, God says, you shall surely die, but you shall you will not surely die if you eat from that tree. Oh, and the devil deceived Adam and Eve. And Eve ate from that tree. And Eve gave to Adam and Adam disobeyed God. But they did not fall down and die. But they were separated from God. And this is why people die today because of sin. This is why there are hospitals today because of sin. This is why there's mental health today because of sin. This is why we seek after worthless idols because of sin. It has darkened our minds. It has darkened our eyes. It has made us reprobates. Oh, sin has made us enemies to God. Oh, and by wicked works in our minds. But Jesus, he offers you forgiveness of your sins. Jesus Christ, he offers you a brand new life. Oh, your sins are written down in God's book. Oh, but when you come to Jesus and you ask him to forgive you, your sins are wiped away. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, your sins can be forgiven today. Oh, Jesus Christ, he wants to forgive you. He wants to give you eternal life. Oh, people of Stratford. Oh, we have come here today. Oh, to tell you the love of God. To tell you the love of Jesus. Oh, when we call you today, if anybody wants to come and give their life to Jesus Christ, if anybody wants to humble themselves and come to, to come to here to pray, we will offer to pray with you and you can give your life to Jesus and be forgiven of your sins today. And God will send his Holy Spirit and you can have the Holy Ghost today. Oh, and the Holy Ghost is the best gift you can ever have. Oh, the Holy Ghost will make you brand new. He will give you a new heart, a heart that desires to follow God, a heart that desires to hate sin. Oh, Jesus, he will forgive you of your sins today. He will wipe them away and you can have a clean slate today and you can build you can have a relationship with God today if you desire to come to Jesus Christ if we ask you to come forth and to pray with us because the Bible says humble yourselves under the mighty hand of God and God gives grace to the humble but he resists the proud and we are saved by grace so we must humble ourselves to receive the grace of God because when we humble ourselves and we come to Jesus Christ God will pour out his grace upon us and we can be saved today if no, we just come to you Jesus. You will be waiting while the song is